The final question that needed to be answered to convince the scientific community was to show that we understand human-induced climate change. Indeed, this is one of the central aims of the IPCC. Science has not only produced a vast amount of knowledge about a wide range of phenomena, it has also enhanced our understanding of these phenomena. Indeed, understanding can be regarded as one of the central aims of science. But what exactly is it to understand phenomena scientifically, and how can scientific understanding be achieved? One way to argue this is that scientists achieve understanding of a phenomenon P if they construct an appropriate model of P on the basis of a theory T. Henk de Recht identifies the criterion for understanding phenomena in the following way. A phenomenon P is understood scientifically if and only if there is an explanation of P that is based on an intelligible theory T and conforms to the basic epistemic values of empirical adequacy and internal consistency. Scientists acquire understanding of phenomena by constructing models. The climate science community has built such models. Using the relevant physical, chemical and indeed biological theories, they have built mathematical models based on the conceptual models that describe how each part of the Earth system is interconnected. These mathematical models are realised as computer-based climate models. The aim of these climate models being to attempt to quantitatively explain the rise in temperatures witnessed since the Industrial Revolution. In the figure shown here from the sixth assessment report of the IPCC, we can see the observed changes in global surface temperature over the past 170 years represented by the black line, relative to an 1850 to 1900 baseline. This is compared to the CMIP-6 climate model simulations of temperature response to both human and natural drivers, represented in brown, and to only natural drivers, that is solar and volcanic activity, represented in green. Solid coloured lines show the multi-model average, and coloured shades show the very likely range of simulations. The CMIP-6 is the sixth iteration of the coupled model intercomparison project. CMIP-6 consists of simulations from around 100 distinct climate models produced across 49 different modelling groups. These models simulate the physics, chemistry and biology of the atmosphere, land and oceans in great detail and require some of the largest supercomputers in the world to generate their climate projections. Note that the brown solid line representing the average of all the model simulations that include both human and natural drivers closely follows the observed temperature record indicated by the black line. The model simulations that exclude human influence through increasing greenhouse gases and only include natural drivers show no warming across the entire period from 1850 to the present day. The model simulations argue that it is impossible to reproduce the observed warming in global surface temperatures without including the increase in greenhouse gases due in the case of carbon dioxide, to the burning of fossil fuels. These models represent our best understanding of climate science and human-induced climate change in particular. They offer convincing evidence that we do understand human-induced climate change with a great deal of fidelity. It is in answering the question set earlier, that is, that global temperatures are rising, that this rise is unusual, that greenhouse gases are also rising, that this rise in greenhouse gases is due to human emissions, and that our models quantitatively reproduce the observed warming, that the scientific community reached the consensus position that human-induced climate change is happening. Thanks for listening.